Greetings to all. We have Mr. Shreyas, the Associate Director for My Bike here with us. Thank you so much for your time, sir. And uh, I would like to ask you, since the monsoon season is right here, it's already June, how does My Bike sees an association with MMRDA? Because we are well aware about the heavy rains in Mumbai. So how will people be able to operate, uh, you know, My Bike um, when, they, when they're commuting from the metro station or while commuting to the metro station? So what, how it works is that, you know, instead of waiting for a bus or an auto rickshaw, what we are trying to make available is an assured mode which you can pick up from the metro station to go to your home or office. So yes, we all do understand that, you know, the uh, how water logging can be an issue in Mumbai. Uh, but compared to that, this being a non-motorized transport, uh, you can still pass through that water in case if you are able to. So if you compare it with other modes of transport, I think this is one mode which will sail you through the waterlogged areas of Mumbai, uh, that's an assurance. Alright, and so my second question is like, um, we went through the web, uh, through the application of my bike, very creative I must say, but one uh, question that arises is like, when the customers, the consumers would be, uh, you know, carrying the bike all the way to their home or to their offices, what if, God forbid, there's some kind of an accident or an impact that has on the bike, how do, are the penalties charged and how, what is the process after them? So frankly, uh, we want to encourage the use of bicycles. Uh, so uh, to answer your first question first, uh, the bikes are insured. Every user who is taking a ride is also insured in the uh, God forbid if something happens to him or her. And we, uh, we are not here to penalize the users. So in case of any accidents, uh, of course, uh, you know, the bike is insured, the uh, rider is insured. What we really, we all do understand and, uh, you know, ask for is a dedicated bicycle lane on the roads where, you know, uh, we are not mixing with the high move, fast moving vehicles. But it's a chicken and egg situation. We all know that, you know, every time we go to the government asking for it, they may question that are there enough cyclists that we create the infra. But without the infra, are we supposed to stop ourselves from creating the cyclists? So we have initiated, let more people start using the services. They will become a voice in the future. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that, you know, the government has already started working towards uh, creating a dedicated lanes for them. More the merrier. So more people using it, faster we'll see the dedicated infra, safer infra for the bicyclists is what I feel. All right, and for the final question that I have is being a consumer and being a cyclist also, you know, um, if someone's going to their work, okay, they want to be fresh, they want to feel very good. So why would anyone opt for a bicycle and exhaust themselves uh, riding it to the metro stations or to the offices? And once they are one, once they're done with their office work, right, and they're coming back, they already are exhausted with the work. Why would anyone opt a bicycle after their working hours? I think uh, this is a question most of people would have in their mind. So what we are trying to encourage is we are not asking users to take it long distance all the way from uh, to their home to office. We want people to shift from their private vehicles to public transport and the first and last mile connectivity from my home to the metro station or the metro station to my office which is typically a range of 3 to 4 kilometers in, uh, in cities like ours. You know it is one distance that is always uh, you can pedal and you can use. Secondly, we are not restricting ourselves only to pedal bicycles because we do understand that only a section of people may use this, a section of people may want a more comfortable mode of transport and hence as my bike we are soon introducing electric cycles which will be a pedal assist bicycle so anyone who is not comfortable uh, using the pedal can always use the throttle and can travel without you know sweating as much. So the offerings will be available in the near future for sure. And how do you see spearheading the industry in terms of bicycles and the electric ones that are your soon, your soon my bike is going to come up with? I personally feel uh, uh, we are very late. Uh, you know, uh, motorization has happened so rapidly, which should not have happened. Uh, we are a developing nation. We cannot afford, uh, you know, when we talk of GDP or the fuel prices or everything, we really cannot afford. We want more people to be using public transport. So I personally see, especially now when our country is headed towards a net zero by 2070 and Mumbai has committed to be net zero by 2050. So these are the modes that will actually take us towards net zero faster. So this modes definitely will be uh, the choice mode in future uh, for an environment friendly solution. Thank you so, so much Mr. Shriyash and this is Vaibhav Agrawal from Frontier India with camera person Yuvraj Danti.